Hey, 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 it's your girl Brandy. I am back and I know I have been missing. I have been going, I have been off the camera. I have been really, really working on me. If you are interested in seeing where I've been, what I'm up to and where I'm going, stay tuned. Yes, so where do we start? I just have to say, I'm glad to be back. I'm rebranding, I'm taking R&B out of the scenario, family life out of the scenario, and it's just me. I have been on a healing journey for the last seven, eight months, and it has been transformative, and I have changed, so many things have changed about me, and so I am welcoming you along this journey um, on where I've been and what I'm doing. So let's get into it. First and foremost, in June of last year, I left my full time position to become a full time realtor and it was hard. 2023 in the real estate injury industry was hard for those that were didn't have a book of business fully built. And so I was that person. So I was just struggling. I wasn't under the right mentorship and I didn't really get into under the right mentorship until about um, October of this year. So now that I've been, you know, working it through, it's just been a blessing, but still and yet the full-time job quitting that really helped me to see what destructive path I was on. Um, just working and not living, um, really leaning into not my creativity and not what I wanted to do. So at my full-time position, I was an accountant and I thought because I love finances and personal finance that being an accountant was my identity. And it wasn't. Um, and it changed drastically when I quit. I started to realize that that wasn't what I wanted at all. Right. <laughs> so then I began to, you know, lean it more into my creative side. And so I started um, working on um, getting my my planner, my budget planner out to more people in mass production. And so before um, I did that, I started to work on journals and um, my goal setting workbook. And so I was so excited um, about it that I was able to, I'm just looking to see where it is. I was able to um, produce, let's just see, hold on. So I began to um, think about how I could mass produce my planner, but it was such a huge undertaking thinking about shipping it overseas, thinking about, you know, getting it um, to a distributor, how much uh, would I have to purchase in bulk? Did I have enough clientele that would buy it was i consistent you know <laughs> in um pushing the marketing out there for it so i decided to start with low content books instead um so i started making journals and putting them on amazon so i have a few here that i want to show you guys so i have this one and you know this is my signature doll that i put on my planners um so this is just a lined notebook and I have written in this one, but it's just a line notebook. Um, and so that's on Amazon. And then this one, Unbothered, hashtag Unbothered. She's on Amazon. I just love her so much. She's so funky, right? <laughs> and then I decided because I love to write my goals down, to write the vision down, make it plain, right? As the Lord gave me the vision for the planner, um, he told me to take one of those templates out and make a journal out of it. So this is my focus journal that is on um, Amazon as well. And um, the template that is in here was is was in my budget planner. And so it looks I'll show you a blank one. 
And so it looks like this. Um, it has the brain dump portion and then the monthly focus portion. And so um, I've been just loving it so far. I've been working in it. I wrote my um, yearly goals down. Then I began to plan in it. Sometimes I use stickers, sometimes I don't. Um, sometimes it's just, you know, jotting some things down. And then sometimes it's a full out spread, right? And so that was my last week. And so I need to get to this week to plan out everything. But that template really focuses me in. It helps me to just really um, hone in on my vision um, that God has given me and my daily life that um, God wants me to work on in 2024. And so I've been doing that and I absolutely love it. OK, I'm so excited about it that this is by far my favorite journal but then you guys then you guys if you don't know and let me just get it for you guys this is uh let me pull it out this is the budget planner okay this is it's eight by ten um eight and a half by eleven like regular lot paper and these are like all the templates this is like a weekly paycheck version and I was hand making these myself and I just didn't feel like for the cost of me to make, I was getting enough traction to really get it out there. Right. So I made a all out effort to put to get the budget planner up and put them on Amazon, put it on Amazon. Right. So I did that and it just came and it dropped last week, but I just got my copies. And so this is what it looks like. It's different. Um, it's kind of universal. Maybe, I don't know. Tell me what you think. Um, and it's called instead of the family life budget, it's called budget your life planner. And it's a monthly version. There is no paycheck per paycheck in this one but you guys the beauty of this thing has just taken my life over i mean i got it in color and of course it's still my favorite pink and i am just in awe at this and you can purchase this and on amazon <sighs> god you guys it has really just been an amazing amazing journey to get to this point i mean amazing and so you have different trackers in here emergency fund 52 week savings promise you got a home tracker in here you got some quotes in here and then you get into your monthly you got a bill tracker and then you get into your monthly dashboard and your monthly pages and so you have a monthly calendar and it is undated, you guys. So you have a monthly calendar, you have your monthly financial plan, and then you have your expenses over here. And then, and I'm going to do a walkthrough of this um, sometime this week, but this is, these are the expense pages, tracking your expenses, looking at where your money went on, um, where's my money worksheet and then budget check-in, checking in with your budget. And then it just jumps into the next month. Okay. And so, and then at the back, you have some resource pages for, um, a holiday budget and some notes pages. So you guys don't even know this planner was birthed in 2020 2019 i sold my first planner in 2019 and um 2023 <laughs> you guys i'm like super stoked i couldn't be more happier this even though it has the pink on the inside i think it can be a little bit more universal than the classic um but yes, this is on Amazon. Um, I will drop the link below so you guys could go take a look. I'm so excited about it, but I just wanted to tell you where I've been and what I'm doing. 
I feel like I'm healing now um, in a way that um, I wasn't before. My creativity is coming out. I'm pushing forward and helping people um, set their goals and change their financial landscape and purchase homes. And I'm living a life, but it's a leap of faith every day. And I don't always know where my income is coming from. And I don't always know, you know, what is, uh, what the next day is going to bring. But what I do know is that I'm following my dreams and I couldn't be more happier. So I just wanted to give you guys an update on where I've been. Check out my next video that's coming soon. We are going to be taking and writing our goals down for the month and um, doing our financial planning. So that will be our next video for the month of February. So look out for that. Until next time, thank you for staying true to the channel. Brandy Tanil official is our new name. <laughs> And so I am hoping that you will take this healing journey with me, that my you will walk with me as I heal in my finances, because oof, that's another story for another time. Um, and as I heal and um, discovering who I really am and doing the work that God has called me to do. All right. Well, thank you so much. I'll talk to you guys soon. Remember, don't forget to stay on task and on budget. Until next time. God bless. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and ring that bell.